Hello, my name is Adam Smith, and today excited to kick off a new showcase here on the channel for Arceus. If you haven't checked out my game unboxing video, I'll put a link down in the top right hand corner so you can see everything that was included inside of the Kickstarter edition. And inside this showcase, we're going to go through the very beginning portions of the campaign to give you a visual as to what this game has to offer. So without further ado, let's dive in to the Expedition Logbook. Paris, January 1936. The courier is standing on your doorstep holding a package wrapped in brown paper. Under his cap, his youthful freckled face, flush red from the cold, breaks into a wide, cheerful, gap to smile. As young as he is, he towers over you by at least a head. How impudent of him. You thank him and flip him a one franc coin his way. He snatches it out of the air and heads off into the winter cold on his bicycle, leaving fleeting wisps of steam behind him. A gust of wind chills the back of your neck. You close the door and return to your sitting room to unwrap your package by the fire. The packaging was damaged during transport. Its postmark says it's come all the way from Egypt. When you pull on the worn string tied around the package, a few grains of sand fall to the floor. You unwrap a thick old notebook. You nearly drop it when you notice bloody fingerprints on the worn leather cover. The name at the bottom of the letter enclosed with it takes you back several years. With a nostalgic smile, you start to read the letter and then the notebook, not realizing you'll still be at it in the morning. A month later, February 1936. On the tarmac, the Phileas quivers in the breeze, its envelope is inflated, and the crew is loading the last of the trunks and crates. The rest of your team has already boarded the rig and found their cabins. Riot has been notified and is waiting for you in Cairo. You are sure he's caught your fever for adventure. You board at last, looking at the surrounding area. You spent every last penny on this expedition, and if it ends in disaster, it'll cost you your reputation as well. Your eyes are gritty from reading the mysterious note book, but you're convinced it will lead you to an astonishing discovery. With determination and a hopeful heart, you lean against the railing to catch every moment of the takeoff. Almost right away, the Phileas foghorn rings out and the moorings are cast off. Finally, here we have a letter from Riot to Robert. It states, Dear Robert, I hope this letter finds you in good health. It has already been three years since your last visit to Cairo. Here, life marches on drearily. Even though there were sometimes dangerous, I miss our adventures terribly. But I'm not writing today to reminisce about those glory days. The enclosed notebook was given to me by one of my contacts in the southern part of the country. I've studied it, not with your expertise, of course, but enough to know that it's not a fake. I haven't been able to decipher it all, but what little I could make out left me stupefied. I shall let you form your own opinion. Send me a telegram when you have done so. Please, I am too excited to sleep. Your friend, Riot. Moving on to the next page in the Expedition Logbook, we're going to find Episode 0, the tutorial, First Steps Towards Glory. We'll read this narrative in just a second and go through the setup steps so you can see this on the table. It's also worth mentioning you'll want to grab the episode box that is for First Steps Toward Glory. Have that nearby. There'll be components inside specific to this scenario, and you will find that across the board every single time you go through an episode. There is a box relating to it. Finally, you're on your way to adventure on board your brand new blimp, the Phileas. You've been waiting for this for weeks, and to think it all started with a package on your doorstep, it feels more like months. Riot's intuition wasn't wrong. The very existence of the notebook and the fact that it managed over land, sea, and time to reach your door are miraculous. As if the past itself refused to be buried forever and had sent out one last desperate call. When you mentioned this expedition to your partners, they thought you were insane. It's impossible to pull off an expedition in such a short time, they all said. Like Riot, however, as soon as you open the notebook, you couldn't sit idle. It changed something. You've spent your days and nights carefully preparing for the most important voyage of your life, the voyage that would prove that history has not revealed all its secrets. 
After a mandatory stopover in Cairo to complete the last administrative formalities, you've reached the desert and are supervising the installation of your camp. You take a moment to think about the members of your team. It consists of the energetic and cultivated Eleanor Mansard, a distinguished professor, Rebecca Clark, an unparalleled explorer, Frank Gaspard, extremely handy with tools of all kinds and with that burly bulk that can be very reassuring on this type of expedition. And last but not least, dear Riot, your faithful friend, a mid -jay who knows all or almost all the desert secrets. Suddenly, Rebecca pulls you out of your thoughts. Hard at work for several days, the workers have just discovered the entrance to a buried building at the very spot you had indicated. The first step of setup is to take the episode zero box and we're going to pull all the components out and begin to set up the scenario. Inside the box are a number of episode zero cards across varying icons. Simply go ahead and place all six of the different card backs in piles that will be of varying sizes. Next, find the trauma deck inside the core box. It's not inside the episode zero box in this case. You're going to take this mini card deck and shuffle it up. Next, place all the injury tokens within easy reach. I'm using a game tray. This does not come inside of the game. Now we create what is known as the Stock of Fate tokens, and this is dependent on the number of players. Now I'm playing this solo, so the number of controlled characters. One to two characters, 15 tokens. Three characters, 12 tokens. Four to five, nine tokens. We're going with the one to two character, so that's going to be 15 tokens inside this game tray. Again, the tray is not included in the game. The last three things I just set up are all negative things. We have the trauma deck, which is obviously going to inflict trauma on our explorers. We have the injury tokens, which are going to be inflicting injuries as we go through. And then these fate tokens, well, these are going to lead us to dire consequences if we run out of them. Now moving on to character selection, based on the fate tokens, which we've already set up for one to two characters, I must select one or two characters to control. I'm selecting two, and it's going to be Robert Pierce, the main individual from the very beginning narrative that we read, that received the package, and we have Riot, the best friend of Robert. So both of these individuals will be going into this campaign together. You'll also see there's a number of other explorers that we could choose from as well. Each explorer comes with its own backpack. You'll know exactly which one is for each explorer because the icon of that particular character is right on the box. And finally, we need the miniatures to represent the two characters we've selected. On each of the characters dashboard, you'll also notice there's flavor text to get you a little bit more familiar with the characters you've selected. Now, based on the expedition logbook, we'll begin to place out the tiles. They are labeled in the top right hand corner. For example, this one is 1A. We'll continue to place more until the entirety of the scenario or episode has been laid out. Here is the structural layout of episode zero. And as you can see, a number of different components used. We have regular tiles you'd be used to in any adventure game, but we have these trays as well. And we're going to be connecting the trays using other components in just a moment. All of the trays now have doorways, and these doorways serve purposes not only to move through them to explore, but also to keep the trays together. They also have a slot on the very top for door tokens, and as the legend inside of this expedition logbook mentions, there are four specific ones to use for these doors which have been placed in. There is one which is sideways, hard to see, but all four of those red door tokens are different. We now fill the episode with a number of search tokens, which you can see across all the different rooms and areas to explore. The legend for placing these search tokens out, very easy to follow, as it'll mention specifically which color and icon should be placed inside of each of the different areas, and it's very easy to find those and throw them in. The final thing we need to do to start the session is to simply place the miniatures for the characters we've chosen onto tile 1A. And that, my friends, is all the steps you need to follow to set up the tutorial episode in Archaeus. Now, it is worth mentioning that this is not all the game components you can expect to have out as you get further into the campaign. Remember, we're setting up the tutorial episode here, so only what is needed to learn the game is currently set up at this point, and things will be introduced more as you go through this tutorial and continue on with your campaign. And that, my friends, will wrap up the how to set up video for Arceus. Looking forward to coming back in part number one and diving into the gameplay to show you how this game flows and operates to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not this is something you'd like to pick up, whether you either have it from the Kickstarter when it delivered or you're seeking it out on the secondhand market. I hope this video helps you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on rolling solo.